we are now down to the last two players of today's mid-season showdown. The final we played here at the Mike's Academy, mm -hmm. and it's still bright outside. <laughs> so the final played between Benjamin Tan, who we just saw him win his top four set in very convincing fashion, up against Tang Tigming, who we saw win in his top eight set. Yeah, who very convincing fashion as well. Despite griping about how his matchup was bad against Eugene, still managed to come out ahead and just move on to being the finals. coy. <laughs> He had a game plan all along. Oh, well, I'm sure. I mean, the, a very good game plan is just wait for Eugene to screw himself over, but eh, uh, that works out too. Yeah, I mean, you were, I mean, we were talking with you and I think you, oh, you had to restrain yourself from telling that, you know, uh, Eugene might not have um, all the available options for him to last a long term with his team. Yeah, but you have to comment, really you have to comment both players for getting here based on just really solid all-around play. Mm -hmm. you there's not re really be any standout mons or even plays they've had to make. They just played very safe and very securely, just slowly grinding their opponents down slowly. And it worked, it's worked very well carrying well, them to top. That, that is a strategy that I can agree with. But we'll be seeing which one of these players comes out ahead in the finals here. Um, I mean, you 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 prefer Benjamin uh, bec just because he's been playing more solidly. But I think Ting Meng does have a chance as well. Uh, depending on how the matchups goes and depending on what sort of strategy he wants to pick with whether he wants to set up Cresselia or with the Mega Tanarita and uh, all the Azumaru as well which I think we've not seen in the quarterfinals hmm, yeah. Azumaru against Benjamin might be a decent option hmm. since only really the Bulu as a strict answer to the Azumaru after it sets up mm -hmm. no way to deny the priority with Psychic Terrain ah. so Tapu Koko, Metagross and uh, Incineroar will all go down to an Aqua Jet after Belly Drum. Conversely though, I think Bulu is really looking good against Ting Meng's team. And Rakunet doesn't really get that much of a benefit from eating Citrus Berry on Azumaru. Mm. Only 25%. Yeah, so the bulk is not really there. So once again, we'll be going through the teams. Ting Meng with the Tanarita, Landorus, Katana, Azumaru, Cresselia and Tapu Koko. And Benjamin with the Yarakunet, Incineroar, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Koko, Metagross, Horigon 2. You know, I, I really think this is a match where Tapu Bulu is going to shine. It's so still many things. Yeah, especially since your modern katana no longer carries much strike. Mm. Leaving it out in favor of Tailwind. Yeah. Or even Knock Off. Yeah. Right, neither of which are going to be something Bulu worries about. So, it really comes down to how Ting Ming deals with the potential Bulu because it really looks really good against everything on Ting Ming's side of the field. Speak to Ice Beam from Cresselia. That, that's just about it, but at the same time... But I think he, he will have to suss out what the katana has on his third slot. Because mm. we haven't seen it on stream yet. So he might not know. And until you see the smart strike not... Unless you see Tailwind or Knock Off, and you guarantee the smart strike is not there, yeah. I don't think you can afford to leave Bulu in front of katana. And I am an advocate of that 30% chance of katana killing everything. But I doubt Tik Meng does have that move in his katana. Okay, going into game, Tapu Koko and Landorus against Porygon 2 and Incineroar. We saw Faman try this lead against Incineroar Porygon 2. It did not turn out well for him. Does Ting Meng have another plan up his sleeve? I, I think it's different because um, what Ting Meng has at the back isn't as easily punished as a uh, Incineroar knockoff. I, yeah, he does have Tarita which is not affected by the knockoff. Yeah, and any special attack can be easily sponged by that um, sand stream that uh, Tarita will will do when it hits the field. But again, the choice locked Landorus has to worry about being kept in on the field with Fake Out and finished off with Ice Beam. Yes. So yeah, so he's gonna safe switch play. His out into the Tarenta. Tarenta, yep. So Tarenta coming in as expected, not wanting to take the Intimidate, so it comes in after Incineroar has entered the field. Ooh, this is an op opportunity for Benjamin to make big plays here. He's gonna both switch to Landorus again though. Incineroar didn't fake out. Knock off, low kick? Low kick maybe. Mm. But he's gonna be at minus two. So Tarenta actually pretty safe, even even against the four times weak low kick. Ooh. So he does get Landorus. the double Intimidate. No, no, it's only one. Was it? Oh, no, no, no. He let oh, it. Yeah. yeah. If you think about it, it's, yeah, it's just going to be the knockoff into the Tarnita. So, fantastic play from Ting Ming. Yeah. Catching what he wanted. As Thunderbolt into the Tarnita slot, well. at the very least, doesn't go into the Landorus. That's a lot of damage uh, being boosted by the electric terrain there as uh, Sand starts chipping away. But now, uh, Landorus. Free to just. Oh. oh. <laughs> Not really. Don't this. double rock slide. <laughs> is he going to double rock slide? Hmm. I think he is. <laughs> oh, he could rock slide. I think rock slide k kills Incineroar on his own, actually. Which means the Landorus could afford to try a superpower into the Paragon 2 instead. Hmm. But is no, he, he goes lock. Oh, that works too. Knocking off the Evil Light. 
And now taking the rock slide. Incineroar. Oh, Incineroar gonna, gonna miss the rock slide. Well, the rock slide gonna miss the Incineroar at least. And Professor oh. even gonna survive even after. As Incineroar gonna go for the low kick, but after two intimidates, it's gonna hang. Oh, it's still chaos. He didn't mega evolve. Yeah, that is really strange. <laughs> and there's no flinch out as well on the Porygon 2. I think he forgot. Oh. Yeah, I think he forgot. Might not be he forgot, more that he thought he pressed the button, Same but the game thing. didn't register. Doesn't have any other Mega, so... Well, the Mega button strikes again. <laughs> Would Rockstar have been enough? Yeah, game break Would Mega Tarnita have better energy with the Rockstar accuracy? Uh. We'll never know, because now... I think at the very least, it looks it very strongly in Tengmeng's favor. I think at the very least, the Tarantau would survive the low kick. Just now, Incineroar can just get out yeah. and come back in to intimidate the Katana later. Porygon 2 does not want to give Katana the beast boost. Yeah. I mean, but what does he have to take a hit though? I think Lee Bin do that slot might just KO anything. Uh, Metagross. Metagross uh, yeah, he did bring switch. the Bulu here to reset the terrain. So taking Gear Vote off as a strong option for Tengmeng. If he switches in Metagross, would be a good option. Doesn't switch the Porygon. It does double mm -hmm. switch. So Metagross is going to come in to take the Leaf Blade. Called it. So didn't bring the Arakunet wisely. Mm -hmm. It is a smart strike. He does have smart strike. He does catch the Bulu. Gonna get this, the Beast Boost. Ooh. Yep, does get the Beast Boost. Double Bulu does doesn't get his Pinch Berry. Killed right off the bat. And Beast Boost will reset in Katana after the Incineroar comes in. All is not lost though. Be Benjamin does but have Katana is all sped by Metagross. And Metagross will get an easy KO with the Stomping Tantrum on Tapu Koko. As I, uh, I mean, as I said, Benjamin's uh, oh, it's not lost for Benjamin. It's not can come in with a fresh fake out. Can't really break Katana Sash though because Cassiterium will just heal it back. Okay, Porygon two instead. Dangerous. Yeah, I I, I think it's not better because you intimidate the no, the, the just Katana as well. Now it's just into the Porygon two slot to catch the potential. It's not becomes in. Ooh. I suppose he's confident that Metagross will clean up anyway. Hmm. I I suppose. It is a bit risky though, Tingling could just protect his Tapu Koko. Yeah, I I don't know. And just go for Dazzling Dream Ew, for fits the Beast Boost. Yeah, I, I think that's fine. You take away uh, Porygon's 2. But now you need, secret, now you need a very strong Secret Sword into the Metagross, so I don't think it's going to be enough. Unless he's a running a bulky Koko can survive stomping. No, I can't. And yeah, what the option is what does... Uh, what does secret Sword, but it's not going to be enough. It's full health Metagross. And we've got terrain recovery. Mm. Now, next time he's forced to protect. Did you know he's not forced to protect? He's incentivized to protect. Yeah, that's true. But regardless, there's free grassy terrain recovery on both Incineroar and Metagross. Mm. Yo, why didn't he protect his Coco there? And just gotten the free beast Maybe boost. Maybe it's choice locked? I, I don't know. A at the very least, I think he should have protected. Uh, the Coco and gone for the Porygon too. That, that, that play yep. makes sense. Gets a beast boost. Mm. And okay. you force them down to his last two. Mm. Fake out and Stomping Tantrum. Ice Punch will not Ice Punch out. is same base damage as Stomping Tantrum and has a chance to freeze. Mm. It's your all Blitz. Well, could burn the Katana and easily take it out. So he needs a crit on Secret, on secret Sword onto the Incineroar this turn. Mm. Whereas if he had a beast boost, I think he could just KO immediately. Oh my god. Metagross Ice Punch doesn't do enough! Woo. Yeah, but this crits. No! He does get the KO with a critical hit! Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Incineroar coming in, intimidating the Katana. Resets it back to neutral. neutral. And yeah. now, well, it's at plus one now. And now Metagross, can't, now Metagross needs the freeze. Ooh, Katana is healing as well. So, yeah, not things looking not too good here for Benjamin. Victri uh, defeat Snatch from the Jaws of Victory from a critical hit. So it's going to be the Ice Punch coming out. His only option here is to try and get the freeze on the Katana. Doesn't get it. Secret Sword comes out. Is it going to be enough with the Beast Boost? Yeah. Not quite. Just yet. One more turn. Gassi Dream going to disappear though. Yeah. So another chance. Ice Punch could crit, could freeze. Could get a high roll and just KO. Mm. Mm. That's what we expected. The Metagross was not in Secret Sword KO range. Metagross goes for, oh, hit. goes for the flinch. A wise decision. He needs two hits. And doesn't no. get it. But good a uh, well played well played by Benjamin there. He recognized that the better play was the higher hit. Higher percentage, is it? Yep. Yeah. He used two hits regardless, and the flinch chance was higher than the freeze chance. Mm. Mm. So not falling into the trap of going for ice punch again. 
I don't know though. I mean, you could argue a damage roll. Ice Punch would maybe pick up the kill on possibly, Katana. Possibly, possibly, possibly. And argument there, but thirty percent chance is hard to turn down. Mm. And one of the I think uh, disadvantages of uh, bringing a Tapu Bulu is that you heal your opponent as well. But you both of them were healing, so it's kind of cancelled out. All uh, the because Medigos have gone down earlier. Oh, yeah, we've gone down to a single sacred sword true, without the grassy true. terrain. So take Ming there, snatching victories just barely with a critical. So you see why he left his Coco open. He he thought the Katana could carry him, and turned out to be right. He was, but he needed a critical hit to bear yeah, hard. If he, whereas if he had the if he had the beast boost to begin with, he wouldn't have needed that critical hit. Yeah, I mean, uh, he'll kill the Porygon 2, get the plus 2, two yeah, he down, plus 1, but that's enough to KO the Incineroar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know, maybe he's expecting uh, a, switch, a switch in and maybe he wants to catch the 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 Incineroar on the switch in, perhaps? He Maybe he thought the Incineroar would switch in and then uh, the combination of Dazzling Gleam and Sacred Sword would take it out. Yeah, it's true that he had to play very carefully around the fake out. Mm. On his Coco especially, because if he protected and then the Incineroar went down, then next turn he's kind of stuck. Because Fake Out is going to go into one of his mons and mm. one, of one would already have protected. Giving him a less favorable position. Right. Game 2 now, Benjamin has to win this in order to push this to a Game 3. Only Pro Incineroar <coughs> gone 2 again. Mm. No reason to switch it up really. He, was o he only came down to that Katana out getting Beast Boost at the end of the game. Coco and Tyranita this so time. So Tyranita enters the field. Because he's going to get intimidated immediately. I think he takes that. Porygon 2 doesn't have a very clear um, target he wants to aim. Yeah, and, and if Incineroar goes for Fake Out, he leaves the other thing open to attack. And no. at this point, I think Tick might, just, might just, just fire off and attack both Gigavolt and Rock Slide. To just, just get damage on Incineroar immediately. Not just an attack though. Tyranita could... Dragon Dance. Yes. Although, in the Paragon on the field, you kind of feel that Dragon Dance is a bit counterintuitive. Yep. Because he could just set up Trick Room. But at the very least, get rid of that minus one without having to switch out. I think it's, it could be huge as well. Still, he could get just free damage on turn one though mm. by going for Gigavolt and Rock Slide. So whoever he, whoever doesn't get faked out just gets damage off. He doesn't fake out. He he gets the KO mm. with a double up. Incineroar. So it's gonna yeah he's gonna stay in with both. Oh, Tigming does manage to press that Mega Evolution button in game two. Congrats, Tigming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does go for fake out into Coco or into Tarnita. The intimidated. Is it gonna be Gigavolt? No, it's just gonna both switch into the Incineroar. Oh, into Porygon two. Okay. Not wanting damage on Incineroar after all. Maybe you bring in Tyranny, uh, you bring in Landorus here? Oh, Katana. Oh, it's a new mod. It's Azumarill? It's Azumarill. Ooh, he wants Trick Room. Thunderbolt though. Does he get Trick Room? He does get Trick Room with the, for the Azumarill. And that's a strong position for the Azumarill. Oh, but there's Thunderbolt under terrain. Yay. Yeah, boy. Interesting decision. <laughs> is, he, is he just going to go for Aqua Jet's Raw then? Could be. He could knock off, oh, he could knock out the Porygon 2 as well if he has it. He's going to move before Porygon 2, I suspect. So he actually has options here. Mm. The worst option being the belly drum. <laughs> it's always tempting, Matthew, because you see a setup and then you sweep the entire team. Says the guy who, who has belly drum under number 3 on his priority list. Does go for play rough, Does so have play no rough instead, off. so no knockoff. Maybe knock it's off. a life, life orb! Azumarill, okay. Surprising us all there. He's going to... Ooh, ooh, <laughs> yo! <laughs> I think that special attack boosted. Oh, low kick into Oh! That turn did not go out as he had hoped, I suspect. He didn't intimidate the Yeah, he didn't Incineroar. intimidate the Incineroar. Well, once again, uh, Tigmin is down to his uh, last two Pokemon, but he did win the game one with his backs against the wall. But now Trick Room is up. Hey. And now Tigmin's fast mode is coming up to play under Trick Room. Yeah. Here's Katana under Trick Room! <laughs> Yeah, not 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 his finest moments, but at the very least he did manage. Yeah, he, didn't, he didn't even bring intimidate, so yeah. Incineroar was always gonna get it, cause always gonna gank his Tyranita. At, at the very least, I think a small victory is that Tigmin actually managed to mega evolve his Tyranita this time. I mean, if he can combine that with his success in game one, I think he's got a splendid game three coming up ahead. But yeah, um, what's Benjamin looking in a very commanding position here? Yeah, the the tri <laughs> the tri room looked a bit dubious, especially we saw the damage from Azumarill was. Pretty good. Mm. But then the question is, I think Waterfall will have killed Incineroar. Uh. Oh, no, sorry, Liquidation. Yeah. Mm. If you just Liquidation, though, Incineroar would have gone down. So you, why didn't he go for Incineroar then? He went for Porygon too. Mm. Maybe expecting a switching of, of some sort? Who knows? And Coco here going for the Mega Evolution. Uh, Mega Evolution, <laughs> Z move here. Going to try and get rid of the Incineroar, you might suspect. So that Katana would have an easier time. 
But Katana does Relative, have to worry about yeah, Relative. Katana does have to worry about Ice Beam on Paragon. Is it even enough at this point? No, it's full health. He's assault vested. That's sixty percent. Trick the rain though. Okay, you're right. Not even Zerkitri can do it. Never mind Coco. Maybe Tail Glow Zerkitri could. But yeah, I mean, that this that's, that's a bit. This Coco doesn't have come mine. That's a bit much. <laughs> and now Katana vulnerable unless he gets a double. He'll probably try for it. No reason not to. Mm -hmm. He's the only way to keep the Katana around. Yeah. I think I think Benjamin hit my want to hitch his bets though. He got punished by doubling into the katana when he should have maybe targeted down the Kapu Koko as well. Doesn't protect the katana, so Ice Beam will connect. Yeah it does reveal the focus sash. Ooh, does he he should he have revealed that though? Flare Blitz into Koko maybe? Giving nah. the katana a chance? No, it's gonna be the double up. Why do you flare blitz then? The <laughs> style points, Matthew. Style points. As Thunderbolt will try, oh, Coco, Coco is going to try and Thunderbolt to KO the Incineroar, which he will not get because he didn't even go for it. <laughs> he might stall out Trick Room, but now Paragon 2 just presses Recover, and yeah, Hangman should press a different button. Uh, Mega Evolution on Tyranitar? Huh? <laughs> I believe it's called Run. Uh, yeah, um, sort of a really bad. Yep, he's just going to, he's going to forfeit the game too. Thing is, for Tigming is... Tigming had that game. He just had to waterfall into the or liquidation into the incineral. Mm. He was the fastest thing on the field under trick room. And I he mean, didn't take advantage of it. Mm. I mean he recognized that he was gonna lose Azumaru to get to the boost the terrain boosted. The terrain boosted download boosted Thunderbolt. Mm -hmm. But still pick off the incineral while you're at it. Then you keep your Tyranita around. And at least you even the playing field. Yep. Oof, oh boy. Not to mention he went for the option that didn't have any useful side effects. Play rough. Yeah, and has a chance to miss. Never actually. What on earth was that? The liquidation was better. Uh, well, because essentially fishing for a player critical hit. Hmm. Even then, he will only hope to trade even because then the will keep himself yeah. Yeah. yeah, but then Azumara will sweep at that point. <sighs> all right, fair enough. Fair enough. That's still not a good plan at all. Hey. I mean, here yeah, we I go into game three, uh -huh. and it's going to be the Tyranita and the Landorus coming out. So yeah, Intimidate coming out immediately this time. <laughs> as Incineroar probably going to hit the field. My God. Does he give him a special attack boost again though? That's the problem with running Tarinta. Tarinta's defense stat is st defense stat is immense. And we do see the download come in. Oh you're gonna be intimidated. Yeah, slowly, slowly. Four Paragon's abilities. the last yeah, in the four line. Abilities. Paragon is last in line. Here comes download. I think it's gonna be special attack again. Yep, it is. That's the problem with running Tarinita. You do give the Porygon 2 a special attack I, I think that's fine, as long as Porygon doesn't have a very clear target he wants to aim. It's called Landorus. Yeah. I mean but you've got Landorus even without a boost. <laughs> okay. Oh, he awesome. can Mega Evolves again. 2 out of 3. That's, that's, a, that's a step in the right direction, I think. Next thing is to KO Benjamin's Incineroar. He's gonna be fake out time. into the Landorus. No, no switch! Into it's so gonna Landorus he needs to U-turn. But he just goes for Rock Slide. He's gonna miss <laughs> the Porygon 2. And I think that could be, that could be the game. Ice Beam? Of ice course! Beam. Ice, ice Beam! beam. With the download boost, that's, there goes Landorus. Oh, I can see. Ah, uh, Ting Wing's hopes and dreams being sleep to, you can't, you can't, You can't seriously be pinning your hopes on a rock like Flinch to begin with. Mm. It missed, but really, how how did he expect to be rewarded for that play? With a flinch, obviously. That was but not yeah. a good, well thought out play at all. Well, Katana does hit the field here. <coughs> so, I guess the play still is available. You rock slide and but <laughs> kill the Incineroar. Yeah, and take us out the Incineroar for the KO. You do have to worry about things switching in though. So maybe you want to kill Double the up the Paragon too. Yeah. And, then, and then lose the fl uh, Okay, he doesn't get... Okay, now he needs to punish the Paragon too. He's gonna just... I know he's just gonna try to Rock Slide. But... Mm. Baby steps. <laughs> Sacred Sword. Yeah, he's doubling up. No, doesn't even double up. He's just gonna try for the... F Ooh, Dragon Dance here. Hmm. Interesting. Did the Paragon go to go for the attack though? Definitely. No reason to trick room. Just gonna break the sash. Mm, makes his life a bit easier. And now it doesn't even break, <laughs> break the sash. <laughs> Did exactly 99% damage. Wow, 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 wow. And now Metagross can just pick off Katana anytime he feels like it. Mm -hmm. Katana has been intimidated. No, actually, no. Oh, it will be. Oh, it's actually not this turn. I didn't expect Incineroar to come in there, but gonna stay at the back. And Metagross is gonna try and dodge the rope. Crunch Once again, from a neutral his onto rocks like flinch. No, he's going for go for crunch. Ooh, okay. Gonna kill the Metagross. But he didn't protect his... He didn't protect his Katana. He's going for Sacred Sword to try and kill the... 
Sorry, uh, not to. I, I, I disagree with it. At least protect your katana, man. You got crit, obviously, but Even the crit, crit is not enough. Oh, okay, set some trick room. So Benjamin playing for the, the long game here. So he's gonna get Incineroar in mm. to abuse trick room, and it's gonna get a free, very free recover this turn as well. Man, remember what happened in game two when the Incineroar low kick the Mega Tyranta? Ho! Oh, I think that's gonna happen again. Yep, there's no Landorus to switch in. It's dead. Mm -hmm. Brings in the Bulu. So, okay. So if um. If Katana can somehow keep Grassy Terrain on around for 15 turns, <laughs> he will get his Focus Sash back. Nah. <laughs> that, that isn't gonna happen, man. That isn't gonna happen. Uh, I, I guess Incineroar isn't uh, a must. Uh, Tapu Bulu does get rid of Tarita Yeah, it's gonna stack his well. Katana here, it looks mm. like. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt into the slot. Expecting uh, Azumaru potentially. Ooh. Oh, Tapu Bulu is good. Doesn't do so well. Doesn't recover. I think that's why. Oh, super power as well. Oh, why not just press wood hammer, man? Maybe he's expecting the, the Tapu Koko to come in and take away the terrain. And then he press super power. Mm, it's a four times weak. It I is. think wood hammer will clean KO. Yeah. Well Though again, it is Tarantata Mega Tarantata with his 150 base defense, so. Ooh, Ooh, not even Azu Mario. Decent does. position because as you pointed out, he does take away the terrain and Incineroar is not on the field mm. to threaten the. But, it, but again, we've seen super power. Yeah. And and the and the big threat here is. He's gonna need. He's gonna need to. <coughs> he's gonna need to dead land a double protect. It. And Royal is just gonna recover this turn. No reason not to. Mm -hmm. is not gonna accomplish anything. Uh, Tapu Bulu should resist the uh, Giga Vault Havoc and survive. So it's gonna be a recover super power turn, and there's not much Pikmin can do to alter the scenario. Doesn't protect. Doesn't cover. Actually, not even confident in super power eh, on his own. Okay. Does get the kill. Coco against the world. Oof, no way. Yeah. I mean, if it was Venusaur against the world, then. There's a healthy Incineroar yeah. at the back. He's going to do a Hail Mary Gumball Havoc. Yeah. Not much else he can do. He missed. It's, the, he's, it's his most damaging attack against Tapu Bulu. He doesn't really have a chance. Mm. Otherwise, he needs. Once again, he needs a crit here. Ah. I'm not sure it'll be enough. My instinct is no. Especially since Benjamin is very fond of very bulky Tapu Bulu. I think he's gonna go to Barry even if it crits. Ah, uh, well, at least it did half, so. If it crit, I've just gone to Barry, so. Ooh. Insult injury at that point. <laughs> well, Bulu should clean up here. Quite yeah. easily. So Benjamin is looking to just take this game tree and emerge yeah, as champion. Just and Benjamin does take the game tree after. Falling prey to an untimely critical hit in game one, picks himself up and just steamrolls Tigmeng in games two and three. I, I kind of feel Tigmeng should have a stronger game plan. I mean, you. That game three is just really. He, he pinned everything on a turn one rock side flinch. Like, yeah. come on. You've got to have a better game plan than that. Yeah. You, you, you hold your head in your hands when the rock side misses, but <laughs> it was not a strong plan to begin with. Even if he had landed, you were still banging on a 30% flinch to carry the game for you. On the turn that Pokemon 2 was not going to trade room for you, mm. he's obviously going to go for the Ice Beam into that slot. Exploitable, maybe you switch in your Coco. It's still a boosted <laughs> Ice Beam mm. with the download boost. Which is, again, which is the danger of leading Tarantita. You give the Pokemon 2 a guaranteed special attack download boost. I honestly don't think Tarita, uh, leading Tarita is a, a bad move because he, really, of the weakness. He gets intimidated <laughs> immediately mm. and he gives Paragon 2 a download yeah, boost. When you put it that way, yeah, then it kind of feels like it's a bad option. Yeah. Tarantau wants to switch in after Incineroar has been intimidated and the Paragon 2 doesn't have a download boost in special attack. Mm, yeah, uh, in game 1. So again, Benjamin recognizing that Incineroar Paragon 2 lead is just very good against uh, Tegmeng's team composition. Mm. I and guess so well played to him. He, he had a very strong skeleton to his team. He knew that what he needed to bring. He knew that what he how he needed how he needed to execute, and even in game two, he was kind of surprised by the Azumaru coming under trick room. Mm. He didn't get flustered. He didn't lose his general to the Azumaru and was able to push on from there. Yeah, you you kind of wonder what happened if uh if uh, it just liquidation make, instead. Yeah, you you you, you kill the general. You maybe you take a bit of cheap damage on your on your Tarita. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh you, no, he, you he trains the Azumaru. Trains the Azumaru. Uh, I think Tarita takes that. You you get rock slide free damage. And then Katana the has nothing to fear. Mm. What's, le what's at the back? Bulu uh, Metagross. and Metagross against yeah. Katana. We saw what happened <laughs> in game one. Yeah, so, well. So yeah, you could maybe predict that the 
the Sinner was going to run away, but he didn't know what Asumaru's stat was at that point. Mm, could be very strong for all we know. Uh, well, unlikely, but well. <laughs> I, I'm just surprised that Asumaru was faster under Trick Room than the Pro. But again, you have to commend Benjamin mm. for a very well played set. Especially since he, he executed very well in game 1 and just got caught off by the untimely critical hit. Taking advantage of the bizarre decision to not take the beast boost on the Porygon 2. I think I think um, Incineroar Porygon 2 to Benjamin is like Snorlax Porygon 2 to me. It's, it's just really good. There's no reason not to lead anything otherwise. And he, he led it in all three games. That goes to show the confidence just he has. Stop picking Tarin Tarin to death! <laughs> Come on! Oh, well, we'll be interview with Ting Ming here. So, mm. tell us more. Oh, no interview actually. Yeah, so. Okay. Well, here you go, Benjamin, the winner of the, the mid season showdown. Don't so worry, Ting Ming, we still love you. So, Benjamin recovers from what was a, a previous second place finish, followed the Young Sir at the last mid season showdown. <laughs> now, redeems himself with the win here at Informatics Education. So, stay, stay tuned. And I'm joined for the final time today by our mid-season showdown champion, Benjamin Tan. First of all, congratulations, Benjamin. Thank you, Matthew. So, a step up from the previous mid-season showdown, where I think you fell in the final to Young Sir. <laughs> this time, redeeming, redeeming yourself with a, all the way to the win this time. I I think I was like quite lucky uh, during the match against Tegmin, because uh, he missed the rock slide on the Incineroar in Game 1. But, but the Game 1, he, he did get a crit. Yeah, so I think it's So yeah, he did balance out. But Game 3, he missed the rock slide on Paragon 2, which but might was, matter. <laughs> Yeah, we w but still, you, have, you, you yourself know that his entire game plan was getting a flinch on turn 1, which was really questionable. I think a better... Were you surprised he didn't U-turn? Yeah, like, because I, I think he, he was calling me to read him to switch out the Landorus, because, Again. I mean, like... We did check room in turn, game yeah, 2. Yeah, I intimidated him, and I have Porygon 2, so, like, he, he should read me, like, not to Ice Beam the Landorus, but I just go for Ice Beam anyway. <laughs> and it worked out for you in the end. Yeah, so <laughs> pretty much. you let the same lead all three games, Incineroar, Porygon 2. Yeah, in Were you surprised that he kept bringing Tarita to give you the download boost? I I think he should leak Cresselia. Because yeah, because he kept giving you the download boost on Porygon yeah, 2, uh, which uh, was uh, allow you to, I think game 2 we saw, allow you to get the 1 hit KO on uh, Azu Mario. Yeah. And then the Ice Beam 1 hit KO on Landorus as well. Yeah. And you also get intimidated on Tarita on turn 1. Yeah, I think in general getting intimidated is like the best thing ever happened to the team. <laughs> you can see definitely carried you all the way to the final here, the win here today. Yeah, so definitely very strong This option. team was uh, built by my friend Ben Markham from the UK where he top cut the uh, Melmo Regional and without 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 intimidate. Without intimidate. So when when uh, Instagram got intimidated he just messaged me just straight bonus. We got intimidated for the team. <laughs> and then I just practiced with my friend uh, Brian Cheng, uh, Nicole from Sweden, uh, I think Martin Tan Singapore uh, inspired me a little bit. Uh, Pontus, uh, David I just giving them shout outs and Daniel from Sweden. They all helped me uh, with this team and, and all the matchups. Like I was prepared for all the Lele Gross and Penny Gross, but <laughs> didn't really see them at all. <laughs> I fought so many. Uh, I was surprised actually. Yeah. I think only one person brought Yuri's team, which was Heroku. Oh, oh but he didn't have the 
exact same. No, set. I think he yeah. switched it to assault vest and there is something yeah, like that. Because like so many Venusaur is so good against my team, I have no mm. way to stop Fini Gr uh, Fini Venusaur. It's just but war on my team. Fast, fast Venusaur is still fine for you. Yeah, right? fast Venusaur. Because you have flare blitz and you have ice punch. I think the problem, yeah, uh, my problem for the team is the Mega Venusaur because Definitely. it's just so bad. But who expected to see Mega Venusaur? Yeah, it's understandable that you didn't carry a uh, guaranteed check to it. Yeah. I mean, uh, no offense to Eugene, but I was quite relieved when he didn't make it to the final. <laughs> yeah, we saw what happened in Swiss. Mega Venus was just a very big answer yeah. to your team. But, yeah. well, Tickming came to your rescue. Thank you, Tickming. <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, Eugene made a really good uh, call for Definitely. today's tournament. Like, if he made the final, I think I, I just also forfeit. <laughs> but yeah, it's just the luck of the draw there. Yeah. He had a bracket. He fell, he fell in his own bracket. Yeah. You came out of your own bracket, so kudos to you. Yeah, pretty lucky. The Thank win you. there. Yeah. So... Another, so that's the two mid-season finishes, second and first now. And <laughs> good warm-up for next month's Malaysia. Uh, or you're not, or you still can't travel out of the country? Depends on how the military treats me. <laughs> always, a, always a question mark. <laughs> but yeah. well, hope, this carry, hope you can carry your very strong performance. Thank you, you started off the 18th season very well. It's pointed out second, then now first. Yeah, but the Singapore Open 2 was not good since I missed out the top 16 cut. Mm. I mean, the sorry, the top 16 There was CP. a 16 CP, yeah. yeah. But oh well, so there will be tournaments in the future. Yeah. Hopefully the hopefully you'll be allowed to travel after all and we will see you in Malaysia. Yeah, when will you be playing? <laughs> in Malaysia. Oh in Malaysia, alright, good yeah. luck to you. <laughs> so good luck to all of us. Yeah, all and of we us. will see y'all when we see you at the next local tournament. But we will see you whether on stream or otherwise at the Malaysia Open. Yep. Next month. So Thank you. When the next tournament happens here in Singapore, we will be here to stream them once again. Once again, your champion of today's Miss Season Showdown, Manchin Tan, Haku VGC. <laughs> And I'm a, com I am a caster, Matthew Hui, along with my fellow co-commentator, Justin Lok. And we will see you next time. Stay tuned to the Mirage Island.